Hi, I'm Arielle, and today I'm going to show you how to use Donut for onboarding. If you need help at any time, you can try our help center at help.donut.ai, or you can look for the purple button in the lower right hand corner of the screen. If you click that, you'll get a chat that goes straight to us. Great, so when you first log into your account, this is the screen you're going to see. Um, these are templates. Templates are essentially a series of messages that go out at timed intervals to different recipients. You can create as many templates as you want, and you can add as many messages as you want to each template. As you can see, we have a general onboarding template here, which has content like a buddy intro, 30, 60, 90 day check-in reminders to managers, new hire feedback collection, just basic things that PeopleOps wants everyone at Donut to receive. Um, we also have an engineering template here. Um, that has content that's very specific to our engineering team and only engineers are gonna receive that. Um, that might include stuff like a link to engineering wikis or instructions about how to do your first pull request. If you click into the general operating template, you'll get a calendar view and you'll be able to see all of the messages that are part of this template. We, you can also toggle over to this list view so you can see the entire content of the message and all of them in the order in which they're scheduled to be sent out. If you'd like to change a message, all you have to do is click in and you can change who it's going to, when it's going out, including to the quarter of an hour, and what it says. We have a preview over here so you can see exactly what it's going to look like when it goes out in Slack. And we also have little syntax clues down here in case you want to bold something or in case you want to link something. Don't forget to hit save once you're done making those changes. If you want to add a message, just go back to the calendar view, hit add a message on any day, choose who it's going to, when it's going out, and what the message type is. We have messages, which are good for plain text, polls, which allow you to ask a question and add multiple choice buttons. You can also elect to ask for comments, which will allow you to collect qualitative feedback in addition to these quantitative poll responses. We have tasks, which are cool because they send reminders to the recipient unless they hit complete or dismiss. You can change the interval in which you want those reminders to go out. You'll also be able to see who's completed these tasks. And finally, we have intros. Intros are direct messages that go to two recipients. So for instance, if you wanted to set up a buddy intro, you might do this. Once you're done, just hit create. Once you're done editing all your templates, you're going to want to add a new hire. So just go to the new hires tab. Here you'll be able to see all of the new hires that are starting soon by order of date. You'll also be able to see what content they're scheduled to receive. And once they start, if you click this little bar graph, you'll be able to see how they answered all of their polls, whether they actually met with their intros, and whether they've completed their tasks or not. To add a new hire, just hit onboard new hires. You'll choose a date and a time zone, and you can either add one new hire or add multiples. We're just gonna add one new hire for now. Enter their email address. This email address doesn't need to be created yet. All it means is that we're gonna start looking for someone who joins your Slack workspace with that email address. And don't worry, if you make a typo, you can edit it later. Confirm their time zone and choose what templates they should receive. In this case, Amanda is going to receive the general onboarding template, and she's also an engineer, so she's going to get the engineering content. We're going to choose a buddy for her, and choose her manager, and then just hit add new hire. Hope that helps. 